Believe it or not, there is a lot to be learned from a cornfield. Growing up in southwest Ohio, there were always cornfields around. One of my first lessons about cornfields is that you never go into a cornfield. We were told as kids that if you went out into a cornfield, you would get lost until harvest. Now, I'm pretty sure these stories were propagated by farmers who wanted to protect their crops from clumsy kids. Or maybe it was really reverse psychology and they wanted us to get lost so they could get a little break. Nah, I'm sure that wasn't it. For those of you that are completely horticulturally challenged, cornfields are planted in rows. The tractor pulls the planter and the planter inserts seed every so often in the dirt. The tractor, by its design as a four-wheeled vehicle, has no choice but to pull the planter in straight lines, or as straight as humanly possible. The result is that each row of corn is separated from the next by a constant distance. This results in these narrow rows leading on for great distances, so getting lost in a cornfield really isn't possible since there's always an end to the row. In Matthew 7.14, Jesus says, Small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Then on John 10.9, Jesus says, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. The thing with corn rows is, if you walk long enough on one of those rows, you will find your way out. The narrow row of corn leads to civilization. The narrow road that Jesus talked about leads to salvation. Another interesting lesson to be learned from corn is the concept of seed maturation. Again, for the horticulturally challenged, corn doesn't just show up in a can on the shelf at your local supermarket. Corn, like I said before, is planted by a machine specially designed to insert the seed in the ground at a specified distance below the surface. This is the only use of this particular implement, to plant seed. Jesus speaks of seed planting in the fourth chapter of Mark. The thing about seeds is that they need water and nutrients to grow to maturity. Our own spiritual walk needs to be nourished with the water of life. In John 4, Jesus speaks to the Samaritan woman about living water. He says that if we drink the water he gives, we shall never thirst again. Jesus was not speaking about physical water or physical thirst, of course. He was talking about the water that he will fill us with if we spend time learning about and following him. There is another lesson to be taken from corn. Once a year, corn is planted. At the end of the season, corn is harvested. There is another kind of harvest that is mentioned in the 14th chapter of Revelations. It's the harvest of the earth. The harvest will be of those who have believed and followed Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior. The question I want to leave you with and challenge you with is, where will you be after that harvest?